Good morning, everyone. Happy Friday. Rose Ward, StampersDelight.com. So how are you doing this morning? If you live in the States, it is a long weekend. It's Labor Day weekend. Hi, Angie. How are you? So what do you have planned for the weekend? Whether you're in the States or not, we have a long weekend, so I'm really looking forward to it. I have my sister's birthday today, so we're taking. I'm taking my mother and my sister and my mother-in-law and my aunt out to lunch. And then my, Monday, we're having a drive-by surprise 95th birthday parade from my mother-in-law. Yes, 95. God bless her. Hi, Meg. Hi, Stacy. Let me grab my glasses so I can see everyone. These are my cheater reading glasses, but let's... Oh, oh I grabbed my cocktail glasses. These are my night glasses. Sorry, can't see you with those. My little martini glasses. Okay, we need day glasses here so I can see who's on. Hi, Patricia. Hey, Joyce. How are you? So I'm glad you could tune in today. A uh, couple of things before we get started. Uh, one thing I need is a sip of coffee. So grab your coffee, grab your tea, and come stamp with me. As you can see from my Magic Logo mug, my coffee's getting cold because if it was hot, you would see my whole logo. It's getting, it's turning all black, which means it's getting cold, so I need a sip. Okay, we'll just put that back there. And if you'd like to get a magic mug or any of my logo in, uh, merchandise, that'll be in the description later. Hi, Trudy. Hey, Maureen, good morning. How's things up in Canada, Maureen? Okay, so a couple of things I wanna remind you about before we get started. Let's grab this. I want to remind you about the Get and Go promotion. That's a promotion that's going on right now with the starter kit. You do not have to, quote, be a demonstrator to get the starter kit. You can sign up under me and get this awesome deal, which has um, Granny Apple Green Cardstock Coastal Cabana. Actually, what it has is two card kits, enough to make eight cards in each kit, so that's 16 cards. An extra uh, two sets, Queen Anne's Lace and So Much Love. And also um, a thing of rhinestones. So you get those extra items, five extra items, plus whatever you want to pick out in the um, starter kit. All for $99 plus tax in the States here. So if you're interested in that, please contact me. I can go over any information you need. I didn't actually have the Queen Anne's, believe it or not, I didn't have it. Queen Anne's and So Much Love stamp set, but I did order them. So as soon as those come in, I think I'll do a video on that, maybe a live on that. So you can see how gorgeous they are. I just saw a lot of uh, cards done with those. So you don't want to forget about this promotion. And I do want to remind you, you get to pick out $125 of merchandise. And you only pay $99. You can actually get the new embossing machine, because that's $120 for that. So keep that in mind, okay? The other item I want to go over, just so you don't forget, because you only have till September 10th, is my September online class, Have a Hoot. Now, I did do a video on this. The uh, five projects that you will get will be totally different. Okay, so for this one, we will do two Halloween cards and three Christmas cards, or I may substitute a birthday card in there because you can use this one little guy for a birthday card. And I like to show you how much you can get done with one of these sets. So remember, this is the Have a Hoot online class. You have to sign up uh, prepaid by September 10th. And I'll get those out to you approximately the 20th. You love my cocktail glasses? Thanks, Shirley. Yeah, I bought those. Oh, gosh, way back when, I think it was either in Memphis or Nashville um, on one of the stamping up uh, events. I walked into this place where we were having dinner, and they had, like, little uh, things you could buy. And my girlfriend has a bar down in her family room, and I bought her a pair, and I was like, you know what? I really love these. I need a pair for myself. And they do have a little tint on them, so I could wear them while I'm driving, However, I don't think that's a good idea. I might get pulled over driving with a pair of glasses like that, right? <laughs> oh, they do. You're right. They match our cookies, uh, chocolate, and cocktail stamp set. Thanks for that reminder. All right, so let's get started. I'm going to flip the camera. 
So, of course, it's a new month. It is September. Shout out to my sister, Char. For her. It's her birthday today. Happy birthday, Char. I'll see you later. This is my host code for September. So if you want to place an order, go to stampersdelight.com. Use this host code if it's less than $150. If it's more than $150, don't use the host code because you want to get the stamping rewards, okay? So what I decided to work on today was the Tag Buffet Kit, Project Kit. So when I first looked at this, I know as many of you have probably said the same thing. They're gorgeous tags, okay? But um, do I really need them? So I didn't order it right away, but then I kept looking at it and looking at it. And I was like, you know, these things are really gorgeous. And yeah, I do put tags on my gifts, but I started thinking of what I could do with them without tags. So I'm going to show you that today. So that is page five. Now they are separate. Another, I like to give you options. You can order the tag buffet, which makes 30, kit, 30 tags, but I'm going to show you a way to, a way to make more. And then you order the stamp set separate. After playing with it, yes, you could probably substitute one of the stamp sets you have home, and it would still work. That's a thought. I actually am going to order another one of these because mine's almost done. I've been playing with it so much. And you get all of these items, including the, the um, silver twine, I guess I want to call it, or gold, rather. Okay, so let's get started. Let me show you how it comes. Now, I'm a, anybody that knows me knows I love boxes, okay? I love little boxes. I have boxes in my stamp room here uh, piled up, just gorgeous boxes that may say something that I like or just a pretty pattern with nothing in them. <laughs> and it's not like I use them for gifts. I just like them. Good morning, Peggy. Good morning, Elizabeth. So it does come in this nice little box, which you can use for a gift. And I'm going to show you, okay, it it comes with the um, project kit layout in different languages. And, of course, it shows you step-by-step step how to make the tags. So in the kit, and mine I, I did take apart because I've been using it, so you're going to see bits and pieces. You get these great die cuts. So you just pop those out, right? Just like that. You move these out of the way. And here's some more of the die cuts that you get. You get this nice little cardinal. Another one of these. So you get enough to make 30 tags. And I love the trees. Okay. And then, of course, you get the banners, the pre-cut banners for them. And the stamp set, which is right here has the to and from, a beautiful inside saying, if you want to put it on the back of your tag, Merry Christmas, tis the season, and with love for you. You're going to see me use those shortly. Then what you get, so I'm just going to put those over here. These are the little die cuts that you have. Then you get these white tags, and there's several different ones here. And then, of course, you get these great tags too. Okay, and the red ones you don't see because I've used most of those, but I'm going to show them to you. Rose, you're going. <laughs> yes, Maureen, I am going to show you another item that you're going to want. Okay, so when you look at this kit, the way it the way it works is you would take this tag, let's say, and you don't have to do it the way the project kit shows. You would layer this one onto there. And then let's say you would grab the tree. Now I'm just showing you how, and you can layer it onto there. You would put your banner across here, Merry Christmas. Put the uh, gold baker's twine here, which is gorgeous, through here, which I am going to show you how to do these. And then on the back side, I always put the to and from. Okay, so that's how you do it, and you get 30 tags. And then I got to thinking, well, you know what? If you don't put that on there and just use this, that's one tag. Now I have this backing that I can add something else to, right? Put to and from. Maybe a couple of little gnomes. And grab another piece of cardstock and just put Merry Christmas. Now I have a second tag. So when you think about it, 
they give you enough for 30 tags. You can actually make that into 60 tags if you use these separately. Okay. Make sense? It will in a second. Okay. Oh, thank you, Angie. Okay. So let's show, let me show you the tags that they uh, tell you to do or have you do, and we'll get started stamping. Okay, so here's the first tag from the kit. And here's the cardinal, and you can see what I mean. It's um, layered, and then, of course, on the back I have the to and from. So if we were to do that, and this is by the book, or by, not by the book, by the project kit, let me bring that in. Okay, so I'm going to bring in Tis the Season. I'm not going to make all of them, only because I want to show you the alternatives. But if you were doing the project kit, let me grab this. I would be flipping to the Cardinal. There's the Cardinal. I grab this. I grab this piece, the Cardinal, and then this tag, right? Okay. That's if we were doing them just the way they said. I'm going to go ahead and grab Tis the Season. And for today, I only have the Real Red and Shaded Spruce. Those are the two colors they tell you to use. Okay, Linda, I see you left me a message. Bigger printing. Okay, I will. I will put that in the sandbox. Bigger, bigger um, printing. For us older folks, I hear you. Okay, so I am going to stamp Tis the Season. I'm just going to leave this open right here and hope I don't get my hands in it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to layer this. So I'm just going to put a little adhesive right here. I like to, You can do it straight like that and just have the border. I like to do it a little bit on an angle so you see a little bit more of that great border. I'm going to grab some dimensionals. The dimensionals don't come with the kit, but who doesn't have dimensionals at home, right? Okay. And I'm going to put a couple of these little guys. Oh, before I put him on there, I want to flip it over. And I want to get my to and from. Because I'm going to put this on the back of my tag. Hey, Molly. Two. And from. Now I can flip it back over. And then I'm just going to add some adhesive here. Put that right there. Grab a little of this Baker's twine, which I love. Put that up too far. Let me just fix that. Okay. So as you can see, I did it at an angle. I'm just going to put this right through here. So I looped it. And bring it through. And you can always tie the edge ends like this so it stays together. And it's ready for your package, right? So again, you can make 30 of these. Now, let me show you a little change up to this one. How about just adding a couple streaks of Wink of Stella here? Now you have this gorgeous little bird with Wink of Stella on it, but wait, I'm not done. Okay, he's cute just as he is. He'd look great on a package. But how about adding maybe a couple of rhinestones or red rhinestones? Just to bling them out a little bit. Okay? There we go. So that's all there is to the kit. I'm going to show you the rest of the... And if, I'm going to do as many as I have time for. So this one, of course, is the stocking. Then we have the presents. And this one is the holly and berries and everything. 
and here we have the tree. Okay, so you've got one, two, three, four, five, five different ones. You can make 30 tags. Okay, now if you break them apart, let's break them apart and see what we can do. Oh, I forgot this guy. Okay. All right. So let's break them apart and see what we can do. So the first thing I'm going to do is grab that piece. And let's see, maybe instead of using one of their pieces. Oh, wait a minute. No, back up. I'm going to show you some samples first. <laughs> okay, time for another sip of coffee. Oh, thank you. You love my nails. Yeah, a little different. I do this every once in a while. It's great when they grow, when they start growing because you don't have to put so much polish on them. <laughs> okay, so let me show you a couple of um, different ones you can do. Okay, so this one I just changed up this saying. Uh, I forgot where the... Oh, nope, this one's the, the right one. Sorry. Okay, so here's the tree. All right, I got so many here. Okay, so tis the season... I changed that. Instead of using the red background, I used the one with the berries, and then I added ry red rhinestones on the berries here. So this is the way they showed you to do it, and this is the way I did it. Okay. So that's another one. Okay. Uh, so the different um, tags are great, but let's say you want to make it into a card. You can make these into cards, too, okay? Yeah, they're good size tags. So I here's an envelope. Now, here's a card. And this is a white, uh, whisper white. And then I use the textured um, embossing folder from the holiday catalog. Layered it just like I would a tag. But then I had some of the green uh, vellum left over. And I just uh, used that. This was from another kit I had. And I save all my scraps. And there you can see... I just added the cardinal and made it into a card. And, of course, that great saying. So if you don't want to make them all 30 into tags, you can make some cards, but you can also make 60 tags. You might even be able to get more out of that. And I'll put still shots later on. So then I took the ornament and I did the same thing. Well, I made another card, but I didn't use that colorful back backing. I just used the white background. Stamped with love. Now, in that stamp set, you get a matching stamp to this die cut. So you can see I added that, and I added some of these great little gems, all the trimmings. I thought they went really well in here to de decorate the ornaments. Okay, Merry Christmas. So I made that one into a card. Okay, then with the tree, remember the tree that I showed you in the tag? Where are you? Okay, so here's the tag. And then here's the card. So this one, again, I used both of the backings. You don't have to. Made it look like a tag, but made it into a card. And even though there's some gold foil going around the tree I added some red rhinestones to really bling it out and the red and shaded spruce so there you have another card then I took the um, presents that was the tag so think about this okay you make you give a pe person a present with this tag and then you give them a Christmas card and it matches your tag. So I kind of, there. even though there was a hole in there, I hid that. And for this one, I did it this way. Good morning, Mercy. Okay, so I made a card. I, again, I used those all trimmings um, doodads. It was funny. I, I was on the leader summit and talking, and I called them doodads. And I was like, you know what? This is what I call them on my lives because I can't remember all the names. So they're doodads. So there's a card, and it matches your tag for your gift giving. Now let's see. We have this tag, which is the cute little stocking. And for this one, I just took a piece of Whisper White. I cut it down to um, four by five and a quarter. 
and I just stamped the um, matching image. <laughs> you got it, Joyce. My job is done for today. And then what I did is, again, you can see the berries in the back. So I randomly picked a few of them and put the rhinestones. You don't have to put them on all of them, just a couple of them to bring them out. And now I have a matching card to go with that tag. And then this one is also really nice. I like this one. Okay, so here's the tag. And then the matching card, and I'll explain how I did this one. Let me bring it up close. Okay, so this is our gold foil. And I used our rectangle framelits, and I cut the middle out. And then behind it is real red. I don't know if you can see that. And again, I used the same textured folder. I'll put that. Oh, look, my nails match. I'll put that in the description. So I made it look like a frame. Then I used the tag. And then, of course, layered the die cut onto that and made it into a Christmas card. I have <laughs> Vicky. I have Vicky calling them new dads, too. Yeah, it's so much easier than trying to remember all the names. I see Maureen saying, oh, my God. So what's that mean, Maureen? It's on your list now? Okay, so there you go. So when you think about it, you can make 30 um, tags, but you can make more than that, and you can make all matching cards to go with your gift. Okay, so I still have one more to show you, but before we get do that, let's do a little stamping. Okay, so here's an idea. You're done with all your... Um, die cuts you don't have anymore. What are you going to do with that stamp set? Okay, well, how about for beginner stampers? And this is great for avid stampers, too. Let's bring in my little stocking. Okay. Let's bring in my Merry Christmas, which is over here, and my mat, of course. So I'm going to take... This little stocking. I'm going to take the card on the fly here, but it's a sweet and simple stamped card. I am going to stamp Merry Christmas. I am going to get that a great saying that goes in the middle. I'm not going to read the whole saying to you. And I am going to stamp that. And I have to stand up for this. Because it's a, it's a larger stamp, and I want to make sure that I don't do it crooked, although I have been known to do that. Okay. I'm going to take this stamp again. I inked it up once. I'm, ink, I'm tapping it off, and then right over that, I'm putting the stocking. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I am going to bring in... Those little doodads from the all trimming. And I'm just going to take a star, a little red one, and another little, whoop, another little star. We have white ones too, but that won't show up on the white. So I'm just going to put some little stars there. And then I'm going to take maybe one here. That's a larger one, one here. And maybe a little smaller one right here. There you go. You got a quick, easy Christmas card. Hi, Julie. So that's a quick, quick, easy Christmas card that you can make. Well, I'm not done. So let's say you ran out of die cuts, but you still have some of those little items left. Okay, so for this, I'm going to show you the sets that I'm pairing it up with. Okay, so you're going to see what I did with Warm and Toasty, Gnome for the Holidays, and Freezing Fun. So I still have some tag bases left, let's say, because maybe I used all those these dies, cuts, for cards. So I have some of these bases left. I'm going to pair it up with the gnomes. And of course, this is our gold foiled paper. Made a cute little tag there. 
I'm going to pair it up with Freezing Fun and some of our ovals. And this is, of course, as our punches with the Freezing Fun. And yes, I could use Winkostella on the um, stocking, Christine says. And you can see I've used Winkostella on all these little guys. And this, of course, is our gold foil paper. Now, how about some more freezing fun? Now I used, instead of that, the larger back backing of the tag, I used just the white portion and made another tag, the to and from on the back. So let's see how we did that. Or let's try another one. Okay, so for this one, I'm using the warm and toasty. Here's my tag, right? I don't have the larger backing, so I'm going to use something else. I'm going to take one of our punches. Don't remember the name of it. I know you probably know. And this is our red foil paper. I'm going to take the cute little reindeer from there. And I'm just going to layer this all up. So I'm going to do that with dimensionals because I really want it to pop. But before I do, always stamp the back of your tag because once you get things on there... I've done it a few times and I've gotten lines. Okay, I should have used my mat, but okay, there we go. Okay, Yvette, see you later. Have fun at work. Okay, so this is going to go right here. So I'm going to use that with some dimensionals. And these are great because you can make some cute uh, gift tags for children's gifts. Who wouldn't like Rudolph, right? There's Rudolph. Not yet. He's not Rudolph. but. And then I'm going to layer this one. Be at a little angle. Now, I, I already colored these in the blends, as you can see, for time's sake. Because I do have to go to work today. I'm just going to put him... Yeah, I'm going to put him at an angle. Okay. Now... I am going to take, let's see, a couple of rhinestones. I'll just put one rhinestone here. I'm going to give him a little red nose because he's Rudolph. Okay. I am going to bring in one of the tags. I don't want to really use this one because it covers up too much of him and he's so cute. So I'm going to use the smaller one and maybe just put it out towards the side like that. And I am going to put, I'm going to use the, which one do I want to use? I'm going to use with love. So I'll use the red, a real red. And I am going to put with love for you. Okay. For this, I'm just going to put a little adhesive on the side. Morning, Debbie. And I'm just going to put that right here. Now I'm going to grab that twine. And put this through here. And now I have a cute little Rudolph one. Isn't that cute? So that's another idea. Now, I do want to get to the fun fold card for you. I have more tags to do, but uh, in case I don't have enough time, I want to show you how to do this really fun fold card. So here's another idea. Okay, and I use the cardinal for that. And you can see I have the two different colors. And then, of course, this is our embossing folder in the pines or pines. So I'm going to show you how to do this quick, easy, fun fold. So the first thing you're going to do is take a piece of whatever color you're using. I'm using real red. And I'm going to just fold that. I'm going to bring in my paper trimmer. Actually, I'm going to use my mini trimmer. Remember, I'm giving one of these away. I'm getting close to that. I'm going to put it through here. There's the score line. I want, well, let me do it this way. 
I'm going to put it right about at the three inch mark here. Okay, so there's the three inch mark. Nope, I'm going to do it at the two inch mark. Nope, I'm going to do it at the one inch mark. I have to see where I want this. Okay, so there's the one inch. I'm going to put the crease right at the one inch mark. Okay, I'm just going to cut that off. There we go. Okay, so it looks like this. Well, I'm glad you could make it, Debbie. Late is better than never. Okay, I'm going to bring in my new embossing machine. And, of course, here's that uh, the pine embossing folder. I'm going to put this, run this through because I want, let's see, which way do I want it? I actually want this this way. So I put, I moved it. I put it that way. I want the trees up. And I'm just using the trees. You're not going to really see a lot of it. I'm just using them for some texture. Where's the reindeer from? The reindeer is from, give me one second, and I'll put all the stamp sets used in the description while I'm working this morning. Okay. The reindeer is from Warm and Toasty. The Warm and Toasty set. There he is. Okay, so let's open this up. And you got this great embossed image. Right? Okay. And all you're going to do is take that piece of cardstock that you just uh, embossed. And this is four by five and a uh, four by five and a half. It's the same size here. So you are, look at that. You could just put a saying on it. It'd be fine, right? But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my adhesive, put a little adhesive on here. And I just want to make sure that I get this. Oh, got a little carried away there. I'm going to line this up to the end. Okay, can you see me? All right. And I'm just going to fold that. And now you have, I got a little too much glue there, but I can wipe that off. Okay. So now you have a green and red card front. All right. So now I'm going to bring in something. Let's see. For this one, let's bring in the tree because you got the trees back there. And let me bring in. One of the dies, or one of the, yeah, the die cuts, or the die cuts that I didn't use. And we'll put that one there. Now, you see you have that hole, so you can cover that up, but we'll cover it up with ribbon, I think. So I'm going to go ahead. I like doing things at angles sometimes, so we're going to do this. Okay. So that's your fun fold. Real quick, easy fun fold. And I'm just going to angle that. Okay, and then I think I'm, I'm going to pop this up on dimensionals. So let me grab my dimensionals. Yes, he's an, he is a cute reindeer. Okay, so I'm going to put some dimensionals here. Oh my gosh, there's so much you can do with this kit. Add some uh, cardstock, make some cards, make matching tags. Now you see why I said I'm going to buy another kit. Okay, so that's at an angle. He's going to be straight. I'm going to take my sheer red ribbon. I'm going to tie a bow. Pull the tails together so I can get that right the way I want it. And don't forget to watch. I do have a video out there on making different bows. Although I don't stress over the bows, but I do like them to be halfway decent. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's just trim that off. Oh, thank you, Molly. Okay. And that bow is going to go right up here. I'm just thinking I want to do something different to it. I want to I add something to it. So let's see. Let me just see. I'm going to take the gold. 
Okay, I'm going to take that bow apart because I'm going to add some gold to it just to make it really pop. Okay, so you've seen me do this before when you have a larger or a wider and thinner ribbon. You can just tie them together. Don't worry about if they're even because you want them to look like two different bows. It takes a little time to do this sometimes, but these two should work fairly well. All right, my fingers aren't working this morning. I should have cut that gold a little bit longer. Okay, we'll get it. Okay, I'm just gonna pull it through. Okay, so I'm doing the double bow thing, but what I wanted was I just wanted some of that gold to be peeking out. So I, it doesn't have to be perfect, although it does have to pull out here. Okay. All right, let me try it again because I didn't like the way that one came out. No, the ribbon does not come in the kit. The uh, gold twine or baker's twine does. I added the ribbon. All right, now let me just tuck this in there. When you do these kind of ribbons, you really want to give yourself extra so that you can tie it better. Okay, that's good. I'm going to just leave that for now. Okay, so I just wanted some gold to stick out. I don't care whether it's a perfect bow. I just wanted to, when I lay it down, have some gold sticking out. You see what I mean? Okay, so here I'm going to use glue dots. And I'm going to place a glue dot there. And maybe one here I want it to stick down okay and again I just wanted some gold to be sticking out of this red ribbon so it kind of now it shows up better okay and then I can fuss with the bow later okay oh you almost forgot Lisa don't forget me okay so before I put the sentiment on, I think I will use some of that Winkostella and just brush some Winkostella on the tree. This one might need to be squeezed. Yeah, okay. I know you can't really see the Winkostella, but it's there. All right. I'm not going to put any rhinestones on it yet until I figure out what I'm going to, where I want to put the saying so here I'm going to put Merry Christmas and I will use that in the red and my I don't know what I did with my mat so I'm going to wing it here not bad for winging it that's going to go right there I'm not going to pop that up on dimensionals I don't want it too too fat for the card put that right in there Okay, I got some more rhinestones here, so I'm just going to add a few rhinestones on the tree. And I got one lonely one left, and we don't want to leave him on the paper, so I'll add him. I'll add him on the same right there. So there you have a card. Now let me grab the inside. I have pre-cut pieces over here. I'm going to grab that great saying again. I'm not standing up, so I may get this crooked. If I do, I apologize. Yeah, I did. I don't even like it. <laughs> I have to stand up when I stamp, especially something that large. So that I can see, look down and see it. Okay, there we go. And now we have this, we have some greenery pieces. So we're just going to add that right there. Remember, there's there's a reason there's two sides to this cardstock. That's for when you make a mistake. We all make mistakes. There we go. And there we have a card made from the tag. 
Okay, let's see what time it is. I think I can make, so that's our fun fold. I think I can make one more tag before I have to go. So let's see, which one should I do? Oh, let's use this one. Oh, let's do a gnome. See, I, I cut all these out extra earlier so that I could play with them. Okay, so here's another tag. I used the gold foil in our ovals. We got these little gnomies. They're so cute. Okay, so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to actually glue that down. I'm going to put dimensionals on these little guys. These are the gnomes from our gnome set, which is, and I'll put it all in the description, uh, gnome for the holidays. Put her right here. I don't know that I'll use all three, but let's, let's see how it comes out. Use this little guy. Yes, I do have a scanning cut, and I use that for things that don't have dies. People ask me, well, if you have that, do you need the, do you need the um, embossing machine and the dies? You do, because some of them, some of the uh, intricate, detailed stamps will not cut through with the, they don't come out good with the uh, scanning cut. Okay, so I have both. All right, let's put this right in here. Um, let's use tis the season. Okay, so we're going to use that in green. Again, I'm cheating. My mat is buried again. Okay, so that one doesn't fit on there. We need, I want the other one. I want this guy. Okay, but I want the banner going out. So I'm going to do it this way. Tis the season. I'm going to tuck that right in there. I think I will use him. We'll put him right here. And we're going to let, I'm not going to put him on dimensionals. I'm just going to, yes, with Julie, I do have the scan and cut. I do love it. Like I said, if a stamp set, if a stamp set comes with dies, I buy the bundle. First of all, you save 10%, but some of the um, dies you need because they are very intricate and you can't use that with the scan and cut. The scan and cut I bought because especially with glasses, okay, I can do uh, stamp sets that don't have dies, but I always buy the dies. And there we have a cute little gnome tag. Now, of course, I could add some doodads to that too, but I want to do some more. All right, let's grab this one. And this is just, again, one of our little uh, tags. And you can see that's this part. And I broke it apart because I want to make more. And I'm going to grab these little guys. Uh, let's see, we did use the warm and toasty. That was the reindeer. And we used the gnome. So this is from Freezing Fun. And these guys also have Winkastella. This one doesn't. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to add something here. So for this one, I actually have a wider white one that I found. So I'm going to grab, let's see, I'm going to grab this. Yeah, this is in our annual catalog. These are those hoops. And I think I can do it. Let's try it. Like I said, this is uh, definitely on the fly here. We're going to do with love. I'm going to add that just like that. Okay, so I'm going to pick that up, flip it over. I'm going to put some glue here. I'm going to put some glue here and here. And then I'm just going to angle that through and see how I did that to keep it in place so now I have this little hoop there just makes it pop and then I'm going to add some of these little guys he doesn't look like he has any Winkastella on him this one does I did those ahead of time 
So for those, I am definitely going to use some uh, dimensionals. Now I should have done my to and from because it's now bumpy, but that's okay. I'll do it later and you won't see my mistake. Okay, so let's add a couple of these here. Okay, I got like exactly five minutes here. Not even. And then I got to get to work. So we're going to add that there. Oh, thank you, Julie. And we're going to add this one here. And then, of course, we would add some ribbon. So I'm going to talk fast because I got to get over on my other desk. I got to start work at 7.50 and it's 7.45. <laughs> okay, so there we have another tag. And I still have, I'm going to show you real quick. There we go. Got another tag. I still have all these pieces to use. Look at all these pieces. So I really do have a lot of pieces left. Look at all these pieces. So it is definitely worth the price. Whether you want to make 30 tags, 60 tags, you can probably get 90 tags out of it if you're uh, the way you use it. I'm going to flip the camera. and um, Or cards. I highly recommend it. Go to stampersdelight.com. You'll see all the descriptions and all the um, still shots later on today. One real quick last thing I want to show you, and then I got to go, really, I got to go. Um, this was unclaimed. This is the Sunshine Extra stamp set I had, and I'm going to throw in a black ink spot. So leave your comments today, and I will randomly pick um, a winner. I'm going to do that on Monday, on my mother's mother-in-law's 95th birthday. I won't be live on YouTube, but I will... Um, put on Facebook who won this. Okay. So thank you so much for joining me. Have a great weekend. Have a great Labor Day weekend, long weekend if you're in the States. And I'll see you back here next Friday morning at 7 a.m. Keep on stamping, stampers. Bye.